Hey guys, in this short video, let us learn about the limb positions in different orthopedic diseases. So here uh, I have got you just the summary of all the dislocations and orthopedic diseases from my notes. So let's get started now. Firstly, uh, let me uh, tell you what this Faber and Fader is. So Faber is flexion, abduction and external rotation, whereas Fader is flexion, adduction and internal rotation. So these are the final positions of the limb in these kind of uh, dislocations. So th this is the final position that the limb acquires. So the conditions in which Faber position is seen are three. One is infections like polio and the second one is synovitis of the hip and the third is anterior dislocation of the hip. So anterior dislocation of the hip comes here whereas the posterior dislocation of the hip comes in Faber. So remember like Faber, uh, like both are starting with F and A, right? So firstly, the B comes that is in Faber. So it is for first that is anterior dislocation. Whereas Faber is coming later, D comes uh, after B. So that is posterior dislocation. And arthritis of hip also is an example of Faber. Now coming to the stages of uh, TB hip, guys. So this is an important topic. There are uh, uh, five stages of hip. So remember it like... Uh, salt fan uh, so s is for stage of synovitis a is arthritis l is late arthritis t is total destruction and fan is fibrous ankylosis so f and a n fibrous ankylosis so here guys synovitis uh, in the stage of synovitis of tb hip the position of the limb will be in faber position that is flexion abduction and external rotation so whenever uh, there is this uh, external rotation guys there will be lengthening of the limb. Here it is just apparent lengthening. Whereas in the next stage, which is arthritis stage, the uh, position of the limb is faded and it is apparent shortening. Whereas late arthritis, it is true shortening. True shortening of the limb is seen. So whenever a limb is in the externally rotated position, usually it appears to be apparently lengthened. And whenever it is in the internally rotated position, it will be shortened. And the fourth stage is totally destructed stage. So the hip uh, joint is totally destructed. So the acetabulum will be wandering. So that is called as wandering acetabulum. And the fifth stage is fibrous ankylosis. So these are the stages of TB hip that you need to know. And the Faber and Fader conditions. And now comes the last topic that is Aber is restricted in. So guys don't confuse this with the final position. This is uh, abduction and internal rotation are restricted in this condition. So finally the limb will be in adduction and external rotation position. Okay. So this will be the final position. So usually, but usually the questions that they ask you is uh, abduction and internal rotation are restricted in which kind of diseases. So there are four diseases that you need to know. Those are caps. So C is for congenital coxa vara. A is avascular necrosis of femur. P is Perthes disease or co coxa plana. And SCFE is slipped capital femoral epiphysis. So caps is the mnemonic for uh, abid restriction. This is just a summary kind of uh, class. I just got you all the diseases from my notes uh, which are important for uh, neat PG and NSAID. Hope this helps you uh, to have this simplified uh, sheet at one place. Revise this before the exams. Thank you. And I'll provide this PDF in our uh, Telegram channel. The name goes by same. Medicine made easy by Dr. Sahityada. I have changed the group's name and uh, Telegram channel's name guys so that uh, both will have the same name uh, which goes by this. Bye.